We are on the verge of a giant leap forward in technology. It will take mankind to new, unscaled heights. And it has the power to save lives from the jaws of disaster. And it starts with this man, who pulls geckos off walls in the name of science. Universities are full of people enjoying student life and taking it easy. But biologist Duncan Urshik is different. He spends his time studying geckos when he can catch them. He is especially interested in how they stick to walls. Okay, here's the fun part. Try and get the gecko without being bitten. Dr. Urshik's groundbreaking experiment involved grabbing hold of his gecko and trying to pull it off a surface with all his might. Don't be concerned. This doesn't cause the gecko any harm at all. But that doesn't mean the lizard is always in the mood for groundbreaking science. Oops, you got me. Oh, he's got me. Comes with the territory. Ouch. That's why we call him Sid Vicious. So why was this brilliant biologist sacrificing his own blood? Because he believed that an experiment could unlock one of nature's great secrets. Geckos have some incredible natural climbing skills. Of course, most creatures, even humans, can climb if there's something to hang on to. Geckos are really the champions. I mean, they're not just able to climb a vertical surface. They can climb upside down and they can climb quickly. But here's the amazing thing. Geckos can climb even if there's seemingly nothing to hold on to. Even upside down. You try climbing up the side of a mirror and see how far you get. These guys climb at speeds of up to 40 inches per second. That's like a human running up a cliff at 81 miles per hour. And they only need one foot in contact with the surface at any one time. So, how do these sticky little lizards do it? Well, that's the mystery. Nobody knew. Until one of the best brains in America decided to find out. Dr. Urshik believed the first step in solving one of nature's greatest riddles was to measure exactly how sticky a gecko really is. He used a smooth plastic sheet attached to a flexible metal plate that measures forces. He placed the gecko's two front feet onto the sheet, allowing them to stick to the plastic. Then he gripped onto the reptile and pulled. If I actually engaged all four feet and tried to pull down, I don't think I could actually pull this animal off without hurting the animal. Metal ribbons in the force plate bent as the lizard tried to hold on. This transmitted a signal to a computer telling Urshik exactly how much force the gecko's grip was withstanding. Urshik couldn't believe the result. The grip of the gecko's toes withstood a force of 20 newtons. You're basically dragging it with a weight of around a bag of 20 apples, which kind of gives you an idea how powerful these animals are. They're tremendously powerful. That's four and a half pounds for a lizard that weighs less than two ounces, just with its two front feet. That's like a person holding on to a cliff face with an elephant hanging off it. So yeah, it's been really surprising. Dr. Urshik's experiment is the first in a chain of scientific discoveries that could save human lives. He worked out exactly how sticky a gecko really is. But there was an even more puzzling question. How on earth do they stick to walls in the first place? Find out in Connection 2.